Danielle. And I'm Jasmine. And we like to fly kites to the beach, at the park, and wherever the wind is blowing. Uh, okay, let's go. All right, let's get this kite put together. I like to fly sport kites, which fly without a tail, and most importantly, use two strings instead of one, which allows me to do precise tricks like these. The one thing that attracted me to the sport the most would probably be my dad. He had gotten into this when he was a teenager, and um, about four years ago, he introduced me to it. And ever since then, I've been flying kites. There are even sport kite competitions with two major categories. First is ballet. Not that kind of ballet. Oh. Kite ballet is an artistic kite routine or series of maneuvers that are set to music, like a dance routine. The second type of competition flying is precision flying, where I am judged by how precise I can get my kite to do specific moves like the figure eight or the square. In just a few days, I'm competing in a big sport kite competition on the beach. All right, who's the next competitor? I've been practicing hard, and I've noticed that not all kites are created equally. They come in all shapes and sizes, and I need to figure out which will help me perform my best in the precision flying competition and in the ballet routine. These here are my top three contenders, and as you can see, they all kind of have the same hang glider-like design and they probably have about the same surface area, but the big difference is the shape. Yeah, this one looks the tallest and the skinniest. Mm -hmm. This one down here looks the shortest and the widest, and this one looks somewhat in between those two. I wonder how the kite's shape will affect the way it performs in the sky. <laughs> we'll be trying out three tough maneuvers. The first is the figure eight. The kite flies like this. The second is the square. The kite flies like this. And the third is the cascade, which kind of looks like this. <laughs> We're going to test the kite's performances on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being the best. Kite number one. Tall and narrow. <laughs> We're trying to keep all variables equal, except the kite shape. So we'll use the same string, the same bridle adjustments, and fly in the same location for each test. <laughs> <laughs> that way. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't control the wind and keep it equal for each test. So the best we can do is use this wind meter to measure the wind speed before each flight and take that into account later when we evaluate our results. Okay, six. Around six. Okay, yeah, six. I know. Okay, now I'm gonna be doing the figure eight. Okay. In. I think I would rate that a nine. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Next up, we tried the square. Flying higher than God in my dream. Out. Wow, that was really nice. Thank you. I think I would rate that one an eight. The tall and narrow kite scored well on both precision moves, so our next test was on the ballet move called the cascade. Okay, ready? Ready. Here we go. Um, <laughs> was it supposed to do that? <laughs> no. No, <laughs> I didn't think so. It was really bad. Yeah. If, I think, I think I would rate it a two pretty low. Yeah, it, it was, it was good agree? at all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> kite number two, medium. We checked the wind and then ran the medium kite through the figure eight. I'm gonna rate it around a seven. And the square. Out. I would rate it a six. Okay. And finally, the cascade. You know, this kite, it's just, it's not a good ballet kite at all. It's good at precision. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what it was supposed to do. So the medium kite got a seven on the figure eight, a six on the square, and a five on the ballet move called the cascade. Kite number three, short and wide. <laughs> we did the same tests on the short and wide kite and found that it performed Poorly on the figure eight. Rating four. And the square. I would rate that a three. Yeah. But was the first kite to ace the cascade. There, that's what it's supposed to look like. There. Ta-da! Yay! 
The short and wide kite got a four on the figure eight, a three on the square, and a perfect 10 on the cascade. With our test complete, we made a chart with each kite's rating on the figure eight, the square, and the cascade. The wind was fairly steady at four to five miles per hour all day. Wow, as I look at these results, it looks like the tall and narrow kite design gave me the best performance on the two precision stunts. Why do you think that is? The tall and narrow kite doesn't catch as much air, which means it can make wide, smooth turns like a figure eight, but not the quick ballet maneuvers of the cascade. Yeah, and it's interesting that even though the short and wide kite performed terribly on the precision moves, it scored a perfect 10 on the only ballet move. The wide kite did catch more air like I thought it would, and that was great for the cascade, where it needs to kind of stall in the air. So the shape of the kite affects the way the wind flows by it. And that affects the way the air lifts the kite. Yeah, and we want the wind to push our kite in a way that would give us a good performance. So I think I'll use the tall and narrow kite in the precision competition and the short and wide kite for my ballet routine. And you know what? Now it's time for me to put my money where my mouth is. Or your kite where the wind is. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> oh, let's go. This is the annual Seal Beach Sport Kite Competition. Later, I'll use my short and wide kite in the ballet competition. But first, I'm competing with my tall and narrow kite in the precision competition. OK, it's time for the precision competition to begin. Who's first? Just like every other competition that I've flown in, I was up against adults, and this time it just didn't intimidate me. Out. Good job! The music that I flew to for my ballet routine was the soundtrack from Titanic, and I think one of the main reasons why I chose that piece of music was because of all the dramatic points that it had, and I know for all those points, I can put in subtype of figure to go along with the music. in the precision competition and in ballet. First place for ballet, Danielle Lee.